there is a rupture in Alberta's socio-economic landscape as a growing number of people cannot maintain a grip on Alberta's advantage due to unaffordable rents and can only dream about the privilege of home ownership. Those already stuck in poverty are left without hope within the splendor of this exclusive oil boom. We live in a relentless province. The value of people is directly related to the amount people participate in this Alberta advantage. And really, we are given no other choice. It is quite appalling to see that rights, such as the right to housing, equates the dollar value over our heads. This economic boom was initiated by a government we elected. Certainly, this government foresaw the consequences of rapid economic growth. That is, higher cost of living, decreased vacancy rates, and an influx of workers without appropriate housing. I'm told that workers up north in Port McMurray sleep in their vehicles or camp out due to these very reasons. Meanwhile, governments and big business turn a blind eye because demand for workers is high and real estate is maintained at a highly profitable level. Meanwhile, we see thousands here in Edmonton who are given limited to no rights and the scraps of this individualized wealth. Wealth is individualized unsustainably without regard of the future. We live in a province where there is no room for error, which breeds a culture of everyone for themselves. Those who fall into the cracks of this ruptured socioeconomic landscape are left to spiral further into poverty. We have elected a government that has initiated this economic boom without foresight and strategies to offset the negative consequences. We are told that the market will solve these issues. Let me tell you something. Developers within this free market publicly admit that they have no interest in providing affordable housing within such a profitable economy. Supply is kept low and demand high for sustained periods until until the political future of the elected government is in jeopardy. The housing issue has reached a point of severity where all levels of government begin to pay attention. As we have seen lately, governments are moving quickly on this issue. The Stelmat government created a specific ministry for housing. The City of Edmonton has put forth a well thought out plan for affordable housing. The reason for this quick reaction, and reaction that it is, it has impacted the engine of our economy, the working class. This reactionary, this reactionary approach is the nature of our boom and bust economy and a trademark of our provincial governments and the political culture in this province. This government that we have elected will only make concessions when their political future is at stake. It does so only when the most productive portion of the electorate is threatened, reaffirming the relationship between people's rights and their productive value. Discriminating, reactionary, and opportunistic are characteristics of this government. It is not only time for Albertans to react to this crisis, but also for Albertans to demand and plan for a better future. Albertans demand affordable housing.